Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 207. Immune Deficiencies, B and T Cell Disorders. Name all the B and T cell disorders. The B and T cell disorders include severe combined immunodeficiency or SCID, ataxia telangiectasia, hyper IgM syndrome, and Wiscott Aldrich syndrome. Name the two important types of severe combined immunodeficiency or SCID. The two important types include the X-linked severe combined immunodeficiency and the adenosine deaminase deficiency. What is X-linked severe combined immunodeficiency? X-linked severe combined immunodeficiency is the most common type of SCID. In this immunodeficiency disorder, the body produces very few T cells and natural killer cells. In this condition, there is also a defective interleukin-2 receptor, and as we mentioned earlier in this chapter, that interleukin-2 is what stimulates the growth of helper, cytotoxic, and regulatory T cells. What is adenosine deaminase deficiency? Adenosine deaminase deficiency is the most common type of SCID. In this condition, there is defective adenosine deaminase enzyme, and that leads to inhibition of another enzyme which is called ribonucleotide reductase. And with the ribonucleotide reductase being inhibited, this leads to lymphocyte proliferation is inhibited, and therefore immune system is compromised. Describe the presentation seen with severe combined immunodeficiency. When thinking about severe combined immunodeficiency disorder, just think about the movie Bubble Boy. In that movie, a person is inside a bubble just because they do not want to catch any sort of infection because they have this condition, SCID. So the presentation of a person with SCID includes recurrent viral, bacterial, fungal, and protozoal infections along with failure to thrive, chronic diarrhea, and thrush. In this patient, there is also going to be absence of the thymic shadow, germinal centers on lymph node biopsy, and B cells on peripheral blood smear. What is the treatment option for severe combined immunodeficiency? The treatment option is bone marrow transplant. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.